Antiphon. Here is a wise virgin from among the number of prudent who went forth with a lighted lamp to meet Christ. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare to celebrate and relive the mystery of Christ's love. And I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, have a burden, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And Lord, have mercy. And Christ, have mercy. And Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, and Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, who takes away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. We see at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who in your mercy led Sinclair to a love of poverty, grant through her intercession that following Christ in poverty of spirit, we may merit to, to contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom. Through the same Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Somehow I may obtain the resurrection from the dead. It is not that I have already taken hold of it or have already attained perfect maturity, but I continue my pursuit in hope that I may possess it. Since I have indeed been taken possession of by Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I, for my part, do not consider myself to have taken possession. Just one thing, forgetting what lies behind, but straining forward to what lies ahead. I continue my pursuit towards the goal. The prize of God's upward calling is Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> you are my inheritance, O Lord. 
Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who holds fast my want. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me, but him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. For you will show me the path of life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. And now let us pray. For the church struggling in hope on the way of perfection, that all its members may be open to Christ's offer to come and abide with him. For this we pray to the Lord. And Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are devoting their life to the service of the lonely and the deserted, that they may themselves be strengthened for their ministry. For this we pray to the Lord. And Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember all consecrated virgins the world over and pray that their capacity to love and be loved might be enhanced through the community of life and service. For this we pray to the Lord. And Lord, hear our prayer. That we may all learn to be obedient to Christ's voice in the decision-making moment of our lives. For this we pray to the Lord. And Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that we may ever treasure Jesus as our true riches and delight, and not to cling to temporary glitter and goods that are fleeting. For this we pray to the Lord. And Lord, hear our prayer. <coughs> and let us pray that every Christian may know how best to develop and express his or her own sexuality as so to enhance and never to abuse so beautiful a gift of God. For this we pray to the Lord. And Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And all these things we ask in the name of Jesus the Lord.
And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the breath we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. You become for us the breath of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, you have become our spiritual drink. And pray, brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. God, accept our sacrifice and turn to us for praise and glory of this name, for all good and all his holy church. And as we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Clara, that we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. And lift up your hearts. <clears throat> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence in which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bringing it to experience on this earth the gifts you promised in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, the fall of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, as these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the of me. And the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. And humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your, remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Bishop, 
and Edelo, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle Peter and Paul, and all the angels, and all the and all the saints of you, all the saints you have been pleased to, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son Jesus Christ, and through Him and. With him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and Forgive us our trespasses, as we grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, My peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And mercy we grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Lamb of God. Who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. And Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Claire, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And go forth, the Mass is ended. <clears throat>